In this video, what I want to do is show you how Desmos can be used to solve both rational equations and rational inequalities. So let's say you wanted to know when the rational expression x over x minus 2 is equal to the monstrous rational expression 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 over x squared plus 6. But you don't want to do all the crazy algebra required to find the point of intersection. Or you've already found the point of intersection and you just want to check your work using a graphing calculator. What you can do is just type your two expressions into a Desmos sheet, and what Desmos will do is graph both functions for you. You can see I've got x over x minus 2 in blue, and I've got the second function here in green. If you click one of the functions, all the points of interest pop up immediately. So you can see here, this is the x and y intercept of the blue function, but what I'm more interested in here is this point right here. 6.466, 1.448. So what this point represents here is when these two functions are equal. And if I'm being asked to solve this rational equation problem, that's really what I'm trying to do, is find out what x value makes these two equal. Well, as it turns out, 6.466, when subbed into each of these functions, will produce a y value of 1.448. So 6.466 would be the solution to this rational equation problem. And it turns out you can really do this with any type of equation, not just rational equations. Let's say I wanted to know when 4 over 3x minus 5 is equal to 4. What I can do is just type y equals 4, and I can use the same approach to just sort of mouse over the point of intersection, and I can see here if I substitute 2 into the first function, I do in fact get 4. I don't need to substitute 2 into my second function because no matter what x value you sub in, you will get 4, which is why y equals 4 is a horizontal line when graphed. So that's really it for solving rational equations using technology like Desmos. What I want to do next is show you how to solve a rational inequality problem using Desmos. And I posted a video on how to use Desmos to solve polynomial inequalities. I'm going to use a similar approach here. So let's say I wanted to find out when 2 over x minus 5 is less than 10. I've plotted 2 over x minus 5 in blue here. What I'll do is just plot y equals 10, and I'll use a similar approach to find the point of intersection. So I know these two functions intersect at 5.2, 10, but when is 2 over x minus 5, the blue function, less than 10? Just looking at the graph, you should be able to see that the blue function is below the green line, y equals 10, pretty much everywhere. If I move to the right of 5.2, you can see this function decreases below 10 and will continue in that way forever. If I look to the left of 5.2, the blue function is above the green line, suggesting 2 over x minus 5 is greater than 10 when x is less than 5.2. However, there also appears to be a vertical asymptote at 5 for this function, which is no surprise because if I put 5 into the blue function, I will get 2 over 0. If I plot x equals 5 on this graph using another green line, you can see that I've got a second interval where 2 over x minus 5 is less than 10. Since this branch of this rational function is increasing towards infinity as it approaches this asymptote, I have to look at the other side of the asymptote. And you can see here as I move to the left, my y values are increasing, however they never will reach 10. And that's because I have a horizontal asymptote at 0. So I can say the solution to this inequality problem is all x values less than 5 and all x values greater than 5.2. And that's really it for using technology to solve an inequality problem. Feel free to use the techniques shown in this video to check your work as you solve algebraically, or just use them to solve graphically if you're in a hurry. But do make sure you know how to solve algebraically, because that's really important. Thanks for watching.